So a bunch of years ago, people found a bunch of bodies tied at the bottom of the blue hole in Belize. Hello everyone, my name is Gus. Hi, I'm Woody. And today we're going to talk about another one of those videos uh, that you see online of people reacting to shocking things. We've, you know, we've, we've reacted to a few of these. This one has over a million views. Cool. And apparently um, this one talks about divers who went diving to the bottom of the blue hole in Belize. I don't know if you've been there. Pretty deep blue hole. Uh, yep. Jackie's Cousteau, <laughs> like that other guy call him. Um, actually named this one of one of the top five diving places in the world. Oh, JC. Yeah. He <laughs> JC, yeah. JC um, took the Calypso there, and he dove all the way to the bottom, 400 feet, 405, something like that. Uh, and he thought it was the greatest thing ever. So a lot of people go to the Blue Hole in Belize. Apparently, these divers went down on an expedition. Let me use quotes. Expedition. And found a bunch of bodies oh. chained together. What? Let's take a look. Reaction Matters presents. Divers bump into something strange in dark depths. Then they turn on a light and are horrified at what's in front of them. Yeah. To make your day just that little brighter, subscribe to our channel and click the notification bell to be inspired by these heartwarming stories every day. Well, that, let me watch be, the video first. Well, then that'd be our channel. Some people just have we'll a natural decide. love for exploration. There are countless videos and articles all over the internet about people exploring volcanoes, deep jungles, and even the dark depths of the ocean. Many of us would never think to put ourselves at such a huge risk like this just for the sake of seeing what possible treasures can be discovered. Sometimes the findings make the risk involved more than worth it, but other times it's the findings themselves that make you wish the risk were all that you had to be worried about. The team of divers in the story can never unsee what they were unlucky enough to come SPG across. Floating. The Great SPG Blue floating. Hole located off the coast of Belize is one of the world's largest ocean sinkholes known to man. Measuring approximately 1,000 feet across and about 400 feet in depth, it has become an extremely popular diving site over the years, but its internal structure, features that lie at the very bottom, still remain a mystery. Until December 2018, when an expedition into the Great Blue Hole took place. Expedition. It's important to note that once you get to a certain point deep enough in the Great Blue Hole, there is zero oxygen present there, meaning that absolutely nothing can survive down towards the bottom. This is also a very common spot where divers go missing, all right. Okay. So let me stop for a sec. What to. he said is partially true. All right. And it's true because there's a layer of hydrogen sulfide, which we've talked about in this show before, at 300 feet. So at 300 feet, we've experienced it, a hot sun grotto. Remember that layer of uh, insanity? It's, 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 it's poison, liquid poison. Um, and below that, the water is... You know, the, the sun doesn't reach it. Oxygen is starved. It's so it is true, but obviously we're breathing out of tanks or rebreathers. So who cares if there's no. I think he's just trying to point out that there's then no life down there either. Right. It's just rock. Yeah, that's what he's trying to point out. But th now he's going to go into what happens is because the water is like that, people go missing. What? You're breathing out of a tank or out of a rebreather. The, who cares that there's low oxygen in the water? I, I don't know why he's saying that. Eh, well, let's watch. Due to not having the slightest clue that they're not going to be able to survive if they venture too far down. What? As the expedition team was traveling deeper and deeper, they noticed some strange looking conch shells. Again, nothing is able to survive down here, but the shells themselves looked a little bizarre compared to the usual conch shells people are used to seeing. Where? When the team finally reached the bottom, they noticed some strange tracks in the sand that circled around each other with no indication or clue around as to who or what made them. Well, the team decided to leave the tracks alone and not alter them in any way. Well, near where the submarine was parked, they also saw a few caves. Submarine? Most Wait, what? When did a submarine come into the picture? <laughs> did the guy... <laughs> what? Did he just throw in a submarine like it's nothing? usually break out laughing but that was funny like okay for, apples and or here and here come there's a lot I, I i that's going through my mind right now actually 
Number the, one, I have no idea how the submarine just came into the picture. Yeah, I don't know where that came from. Oh, there was a team of expedition Number, divers that went to the bottom, and, you know, they found out right next to where the submarine was parked. What? Number two, What's I don't a, know for sure if no life can survive at the bottom of the blue hole there. Yeah, I, I don't know about that. I'd have to look into it. Life can survive with very minimal oxygen levels. I feel like there was fish at the bottom of the Hudson Grotto, right? Yes. And, and it's the so, same thing. Just because it's a there's layer lower of hydrogen sulfide and then well, disgusting yeah. water underneath. Just because there's lower oxygen levels is doesn't mean that life can't survive. And number three, of course there's various different weird markings and stuff like that at the bottom of the ocean. I mean, that's obvious. There's aliens everywhere oh that have God. visited our oceans. Why so that's you... not a surprise. This is all normal stuff. Let's keep I mean no. This is normal. I mean, whatever. We know the aliens have been to all kinds of places like this. Most right. of the caves had their roofs collapsed, but one cave looked as though it was in good condition and able to be entered. Hmm. Inside the cave, there were many stalactites, some even as big as 40 feet in length. Stalactites hmm. are formed wow. due to the slow drips of water and the crystallization of minerals. That's true. Since it's not possible for water to drip underwater, this meant that at one point these caves were above water. Absolutely. The team kept going, but the further they went inside the caves, the darker it became. Bro, this is shocking to me. The <laughs> deeper you go in a cave, the darker it gets. They weren't prepared for this. This expedition team was shocked to find that the deeper they went, the less light they had. Look, I'm going to give the guy a little bit of slack. First of all, it's just an inaccurate statement. You don't say the deeper you go into a cave, the darker it gets. Because that's just a completely flawed statement. Why is that a flawed statement? You can't get if darker you're in than a cave, dark. by definition, there's no light penetration. That's, that's right. what cave means. So maybe they were coming out of the cavern zone or in the cavern zone or just in... The deeper you go, the darker it's getting. I don't know if they've gone inside of the, a cave portion of this yet, but let's keep going. Yeah, they're That's probably being hypercritical, I admit. Eh, that's, they're probably, yeah, not inside the cave. Yeah. Right. They're going into like a tunnel. Okay. All right. The lights they carried didn't have unlimited battery life, so no. they had to be careful and choose wisely when to utilize the lights. Hmm. Everything was going according to plan until the divers bumped into something. Since it didn't appear to be possible to continue advancing, they decided to turn on one of the lights to see what was in their way. The lights weren't on? When <laughs> That's exactly what I was thinking. I, well, how are they diving? Like, what kind of ragtag expedition is this? So it's like I'm diving like this. Look. <laughs> hey, you know what? It'd be cool if I turned the light on. Oh, cool. This is exactly like Jack. I don't think that's accurate. Do that's just this a guy saying stuff that makes no sense. But, but... Uh, it's I mean, this was 20. Hey, Gus, let's just cruise around. No light. Dude, let's go check out the bottom oh, of the blue hole. feel that. Gus, give me your hand. Feel that. At 400 feet. Yeah, that makes sense. That's, that's... At 400 feet. And let's not use our lights. It's because not, our... That didn't happen. This is so stupid. It, 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 it didn't happen. I don't think the guy's speaking accuracies, to be honest. It just doesn't sound accurate but, at all. And again, I, you know, because in the past, we have reacted to videos that will be like in the 60s or the 70s or whatever where the lights were not as good as what we have today. But in 2018, 2018, they had there's awesome lights re lights readily available everywhere. I don't think this guy's a diver that's talking, so let, oh. it, it just let's continue to listen, but I don't think that happened. Diving blind, they bump into something. Boom. Dude, turn on one of the lights, dudes. Hey, <laughs> back there, that turn did, it on. That didn't happen. That's just so dumb. They were able to see what it was. Their heart certainly stopped for a few seconds. They came across what at first looked to be a ring of mannequins. This obviously not being possible had to mean that they were either statues or bodies. The team came to the conclusion that they were more than likely bodies due to the fact that the Great Blue Hole was known for having divers go missing while trying to explore. The what? Okay, hold on. Really? <laughs> Is any of this accurate? Do you, I don't know. I've never seen this, everybody. So I, this is the first time I'm ever watching this. Yes. By the way, has this ever been like, I have no oh, idea. yeah, follow-up. There were these divers, and Manic. they were died, and we found bodies down there, and that was a team that went down. I mean, is there any facts here? I just I have no idea. I just love the, the way okay. he talks about it. It's like 
they came to the conclusion that it was down to three things. Mannequins, statues, or bodies. They, they said mannequins make no sense. And who would put statues down here? It must be bodies. Well, turn your light you on. Just use your light, you idiot. Like, yeah, just use just, your eyes. This one I'm, this one I'm going to call among the dumber <laughs> videos that we've seen. My reaction so far is this one's really dumb. That's all. I don't know what else to say. I don't, I don't think any of this really happened. This guy's just <laughs> talking uh, caca. All what right. happened here is that a big team of divers was exploring together. Then their lights must have run out of battery life. All of them. So then the divers, not having any sort of light source, couldn't make their way out of the cave before running out of oxygen to breathe. Oxygen. At this point, the expedition team decided that they had seen enough, and it was time to go back to the surface to report their findings. When they arrived back at the surface, the first thing they did was alert the authorities about what they found. In Wait, they, they, they went back to the surface. What, did they go down to 400 feet? That's what he's saying, yeah. So... <laughs> We know this is just this means, garbage. Makes sense. If you went down to 400 feet on regular air, which, I mean, these guys don't appear to be technical divers, right? I mean, they can't. Well, just, the people in the video are clearly not what he's, who he's talking about. Yeah, I mean, I don't know, but they're not just going back to the surface, by the way, everybody. If you no. go down to a 400-foot dive, yeah. you're talking about having to take me an open circuit, major, I don't know, I'd have to run the numbers at a are sac rate, but major amounts of air and massive deco. Massive deco, like not massive like 10 yeah, like minutes. For, for every minute about, they spend down there, probably, hour. probably eight or 10 minutes of deco for yeah, every minute. An hour of deco. They yeah. easily could have built up an hour of deco. So right. that, I, so far, this is one of the dumber ones, dude, the that you picked. <laughs> the divers decided they had enough. They've seen enough. Yeah, we'll go back up. Which clearly they didn't because their lights were not working. Hey, Gus, you good? We're at 400. You good? Let's go We've up. Seen yeah, enough. seen enough. We just bump into mannequins or something. You want to turn, use your light on the way up? It's or a Halloween. Just go back up. Yep. All let's right. go back. And apparently it's off New Orleans. Okay. So, so far, this one's really dumb. No or one was going to go back down and get the remains. No one. But at least the authorities could get an idea of where some of the missing people reported in the area may very well be. Maybe some of the people involved, as well as their families, could finally be at peace. You might as well sh throw in a beauty, a beautiful <laughs> girl in the middle of the video to look up. Because she, yeah. she probably was the one wondering. She's wondering. Let's just bring in a gorgeous lady to look up and wonder. About. Divers went in this super deep hole and they didn't come back. I wonder where they might be. That's what's we, on my mind right now. No, nobody Random can figure this one out. beautiful girl. Okay. But even with what they, unfortunately, had to come across, the expedition was a huge success. It was? The team was able to find out what's truly at the bottom of the Great Blue Hole. Did they? Mannequin? At this time, there are no present plans for another expedition to take place. What? But in really? the future, scientists would love to have another opportunity to explore other parts down there. Well, I could give those scientists an opportunity. We could put together people like us that actually are trimix certified on a rebreather <laughs> we'll bring the right amount of gas and you know it's a deep dive no question 400, 400 feet, feet is a real no dive joke. but yeah. it's not like we're going to explore you know something that is not achievable yeah i, I mean I, I think we should go to the bottom yeah, yeah. i mean we can do that on tr a full trimix with the right amount of bailout gas it's a lot of gas but yeah Okay, I mean, then go down and see if they're what if they're mannequins or and let hey, I have an idea when we do ours. You want to use our lights, or do you want to? <laughs> think you're, you want to turn your light on on this? I'm gonna. I, you know what? Because it's dangerous. Because I know it's 400 feet. I'm gonna bring this one, right here. We'll take turns. One. That's it. One for both of us, and we each get like. 20 seconds of light on. Yeah, and we just go in. We we just go in, and when you bump into something like a mannequin, Cut you're the like, whoa, 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 whoa. Let me. Let's look. Oh, look, it's not. Okay. No. All that's, right. That's a statue. All right. So, you know, every once in a while, we've now reached the dumbest video we've ever <laughs> reacted to. It had to happen. It was only a matter of time, and this one now wins that award for me. Wow. Maybe they can find some other fascinating remains. Like. Or more about the underwater cave system that they had the chance to explore. Wow. Even Just though exploring to this extreme isn't for everyone, it's That's always really. interesting to see and hear about what's uncovered in the dark depths of the ocean. Wow. Well, 
You're right. It's dumb. That was pretty stupid. I, I don't. I don't think this guy has any clue about the real facts, and I have no idea what the real story is after watching this video. I mean, I'm sure people are going to drop it in the comments. They're going to be like, this did happen. Okay, good. People did stab themselves Thank in the you. heart. It did. Let us know because I right now I'm just saying to myself, I don't know if any of this stuff even happened or what truths there are. And certainly this guy doesn't know what he's talking about. And um, yeah, that was a I can tell one. you what did happen, though. We got some pretty awesome merch from shopdivetalk.com. Yeah, check that Thank out. You. That's I'm awesome. Yeah, I like that jacket, bro. And the back of it, I don't think I can. I don't know. Well, I'll, turn, I'll try. People cannot hear you because you're you're not. In the I'm mic. gonna try to turn around and show you the oh, back yeah. of it. Let's see if the camera. Yeah. Can you see oh, it? Oh yeah, absolutely. Can no, you you're it? too high now. But yeah, that was great. Dive talk, dive team on the back. Awesome. Yeah, we want everyone to be part of our team. You know, yes. join the dive talk dive team. Rock your merch on the boat and. You know, regularly. Yeah, walk I mean, around. it's on. A lot of it's in pink. I mean, you can get as much uh, of pink as you want. That is true, unfortunately. Um, but uh, <laughs> yeah, it's it's pretty awesome. But I I do actually want to go to the bottom of this blue hole. Okay, I I totally agree. We yeah. finally have a, we finally have a uniform. Yes, that's right. And it's a yes, yes. Let's not... go. Let's go to the bottom. Let's yes. see what's there. And uh, yeah, I look forward to it. It's in Belize, so it has to be warm water, <laughs> awesome water. Five right. mil with our rebreathers on, perfect, perfect. Uh, so uh, yeah, stay on the lookout. Subscribe to the channel for that. You know what's at the bottom of blue. Apparently, we're going to discover a mystery. I'm going to take three lights, and, been... and I'm actually going to use mine. Is that okay with you on yeah. this dive? Yeah, let's try using our lights. Yeah. Okay. Um, I apparently, yeah, mankind has been trying to figure out what's at the bottom. Even though probably thousands of divers have done it. Uh, apparently, according to this guy, no one has ever done it. So we're going to uh, be the first at the bottom of the blue hole. Hey, well, we're we're assuming what he's saying is true, that we're going to be the first. Well, everything on the Internet. Otherwise, we're going to get blasted. You're not going to be the first. <laughs> I, I don't know if we're going to be the first, but we're going to be the first dive talk divers Yeah, to go to the bottom. And if we find a mannequin at the bottom, we should put in one of our stickers. We have stickers now. Oh, yeah, look. People should... People oh, should uh, these are awesome. These are not for sale. We're not selling these. We're going to give these away to our members and you know, you people out there. If we meet you, yeah, they can see it. It's awesome. Dive talk. Um, so, yeah, we're going to be giving those away. But thank you so much, everyone, for watching. Sorry about... Uh, I mean, I hope they laugh with us. Because yeah, it's just I mean, fun. Just, These, just, just, this just one, fun. yeah. This, this, it's okay to write. Yep, Nothing agree, dumb. You know, it, we had it. It's dumb. The whole thing's dumb. It's a dumb. That's one. Right. And on that, maybe the, maybe that's the caption. Divers react to the dumbest video we've ever seen. That could be a cool caption. <laughs> on that horrible disappointment. Thank you so much, guys, for uh, watching the video with us today. Don't forget to subscribe, as I mentioned, and like this video. And we'll see you on the next one. Yeah. Thanks, everybody.